So after losing to Gervonta Davis, Ryan Garcia left his trainer, Joe Goosen, and he is now training with Derek James. If you aren't familiar with Derek James, he currently trains Earl Spence Jr., the Charlo twins, Anthony Joshua, and Ryan Garcia has now been training with him for probably a month or two now, and you can already tell Ryan has definitely made some improvements. So if you pay attention closely, you'll see Ryan Garcia is keeping his hands up, something that he wasn't doing with his previous trainers. So to give you some more context, this next clip we're gonna watch is when Ryan Garcia was training with Joe Goosen, and pay attention closely, cause you'll be able to see Ryan Garcia not bringing his hands back, leaving him open for counters. Ryan Garcia dropping his hands and not protecting himself after he throws punches has been one of his flaws throughout his career. And even when he was training with Canelo Alvarez and Eddie Reynoso, they tried to warn him. And you'll see Eddie Reynoso hit him with this pool noodle, pretty much reminding him to keep his hands up. And if you guys remember when Ryan Garcia got dropped for the first time in his career versus Luke Campbell, Eddie Reynoso warned him and told him multiple times in the corner to stop dropping his hands. And even in the Gervonta Davis fight, Ryan Garcia set himself up to get countered multiple times. This is some more training footage with his new trainer, Derek James. And just look at Ryan. I mean, he's keeping that right hand protecting himself at all times. He's almost looking like Errol Spence Jr., who is technically a master. I mean, Errol Spence Jr., everything he does fundamentally is perfect. So this video was taken just a few weeks before he fought Gervonta Davis. And I mean, you can just tell already, he looks a lot sharper now training with Derek James. He's not bringing his hands back up to protect himself. Even if you are hitting the heavy bag, you're creating bad habits by not protecting yourself after you throw shots. I don't know what it is about Derek James and why Ryan Garcia listens to him because Derek James isn't the first trainer to tell Ryan Garcia to keep his hands up. If you look at this clip, this was taken years ago. Just look how young Ryan Garcia is. And his trainer was trying to tell him multiple times to keep his hands up. <laughs> Maybe for some reason, Ryan Garcia respects Derek James more than his previous trainers. Maybe it's because Ryan Garcia just lost, so he's trying to be more open-minded and he's trying to listen to his trainers more. I think that's one of his flaws as well. At least that's what we've heard, the boxing fans, that Ryan doesn't listen, he's somewhat of a diva, he trains on his own time. I'm not saying these things are true, but these are the rumors of Ryan Garcia. But much respect and props to Ryan Garcia. Leaving Joe Goosen, I'm sure, wasn't an easy decision because Derek James is definitely helping his fundamentals and just sharpening his tools overall. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Do you think Ryan Garcia made the correct decision long-term for his career training with Derek James? Or do you think Ryan Garcia has been a little flip-floppy going from team to team, going from Canelo Alvarez to Joe Goosen, now to Derek James, all in the span of probably a year and a half, maybe two years? But it's going to be very interesting to see who Ryan Garcia fights next at 140 pounds with his new trainer, Derek James. I'm definitely interested in his next fight. I'm excited to see how it's gonna play out. But yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see who he fights next at 140 pounds with his new trainer. I can't wait. But that'll do it for me, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already, and watch this video next.